Only 65 of these models being made and this special edition is exclusive to North America. I introduce to you the 2024 Alfro Male Stelvio Quadrifoglio Carbon Edition. What's good guys, welcome back to Ron's Rides. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Now I'm here at Alfro Male St. Petersburg in Florida with the exclusive one of 65 ever being made and exclusive to here in North America, carbon edition of the Stelvio Quadrifoglio for 2024. Yes, only 65 being made. 65 of the Stelvio carbons and 65 of the Julia carbons, 130 total. And this is exclusive to us and it has obviously carbon fiber. I mean, more of carbon fiber, that's what you get with the carbon fiber edition. But there's also two things that I wanna show you guys that you could probably already see looking at it that is different from any other Stelvio Quadrifoglio for the 2024 model year. So this is gonna be a different kind of video because I wanna really highlight what the Carbon Edition is all about and show off the sticker breakdown and what it's gonna cost you to get into this 1 of 65 limited edition model. So with that said, let's get right to it. Now, as always, big shout out to Alfa Romeo of St. Petersburg for letting me take a walk around this brand new Carbon Edition Stelvio. If you guys wanna get this car in your garage or any of their inventory that you guys see here, make sure you guys check the link in the description below, give them a call, check out the website, and get one of these beautiful Alfro males to you here today. All right, so here we are with the Carbon Edition. Now, when they first announced this, we covered it because we were like, what's a Carbon Edition? I mean, they dropped the embargo on me, and I'm like, what? I, I was so confused because we knew we had the Anniversario Editions, which is the special Quadrifoglio models one of 100 right but we didn't know anything about a carbon edition coming up well it's a carbon fiber package but we got a couple of options that you cannot get on any other stelvios or julia's across the lineup there okay so none of the ti's none of the veloce's none of the sprints nothing else as far as other quadrifolios can even get what you see on this car here today that i'm going to point out now let's start with the color options well the color options are standard, but there's only three that you can get the Carbon Edition in. Volcano Black, which is in front of us here today. Alfa Rosso, which is a gloss red from Alfa. And Rosso Etna, which is the metallic red from Alfa Romeo. Those are the only three colors you can get the Carbon Edition in. So no Masano Blue, no uh, Bianco or Alfa White. Um, nothing like the Verde Montreal or Verde Fangio for the green colors. You cannot get any of those for the Carbon Edition. Three colors, and you're seeing one in front of you here today. Now, keeping with this whole colorway, remember we just did a Stelvio Quadrifoglio, which is actually right up there on the other side of that Julia Quadrifoglio for 2024. We just did one here, and it's basically this, but with some additional add-ons. So let's talk about that Volcano paint, because like I said in the other video a few days ago, well, it's a very diverse paint. There's so many different colors in here, so many different sparkles. It's hard for the camera to even know what's going on. Now for the carbon edition, right away, I'm gonna get right to it. The Scudetto grill up front is now done in carbon fiber for this model, specific for this model. Dark Bidon is the color you're gonna get in other Quadrifoglio models or other Stelvio models. But for this one, done in carbon, you also have the insignia right there for the Chilobo. And then you also have the aggressiveness in the Alfro male Stelvios that you guys are used to when it comes to the Quadrifoglio models, when it comes to the new grill pattern as well, and obviously all functional. Now, for the 2024 model year, we got new headlamps, tri-LEDs, black eyebrow, black housing, and you guys can see that these look really good. Now, there's somebody who is a very, very dedicated subscriber of the channel and always wants me to point this out, and I never do, so I hope you're watching today. Are you listening? You guys would not be able to see it because it is too shiny, but there's actually a clover leaf hidden right in between here in the housing of the headlight for the quadrifolios. You guys can uh, you guys would not be able to see it. Let me see if I'm gonna, I'm gonna press the zoom button, guys. Can you guys see it? Oh, we can actually see it. You see it? You guys will probably not be able to see it, but there is a clover leaf hidden in there. I'm not sure how well it's gonna show up. There it goes, there it goes. We got it, we got it. <laughs> But that is something that you guys will see on the Quadrifoglio model. So I had to show that off. Also, you guys will see the ventilation here that looks like fish gills. I would say shark gills. And these are functional, obviously, to extract heat from this hood because obviously we got something beastly we'll talk about underneath there. Now, listen, regardless of what I'm about to say, 
this is still dang special. Okay, so we don't know what's going on. The end of the year is going to be crazy. It's election year. And why am I bringing politics into the Alfro male's hood being open or bonnet being open? Well, I made a whole video on it because depending on the elections and how things go over here in the um, United States or North America and over in China, Alfro male may not get rid of ICE vehicles as quickly as we thought they were. Originally, we thought this was going to be the last ICE engine from Alfa Romeo, or sorry, ICE powertrain, the, the E in ICE's engine. Okay, but anyways, th we thought this was gonna be the last one with exhaust tips, we'll say it that way. So with that said, we knew that the next iterations of the Giulia Stelvio were supposed to be fully electric. So that means we were losing this Ferrari derived, basically a V6, two cylinders off of Ferrari's V8. This twin turbo V6 three liter paired with the HBZF transmission, all wheel drive and a carbon fiber drive shaft. We're gonna lose this 443 pound feet, 505 horsepower beast that takes this from zero to 60 in 3.6 seconds with a top speed of around 177 miles per hour. We thought we were gonna lose all of this, but as companies have been backtracking, you know, major automotive companies have been backtracking on going fully electric. They've been talking more about hybrids lately. And we know that the Giorgio platform can do hybrids, but we're gonna be moving to the STLA um, large platform or just STLA medium and large and everything platforms for the Stellantis models moving forward, which means Alfa Romeo, Maserati, moving forward with STLA and not the Giorgio that they use on this model or the Gricale. So. This power plant is still special, obviously, for those reasons, but we're not exactly sure if we're gonna lose it completely or get a hybridized version of it. Um, it's just, we'll have to wait and see. But until then, let's just hear it sing anyway. Now, we have something very special on the side profile. There's a couple of things that I'm just gonna love and I'll tell you guys one thing I would do better, but this is my take on the side profile. Obviously you guys know what I'm going for, right? It's not the quadrifolio badge because we know that that's for the high performing models with that clover leaf there, a lot of special history there. The carbon fiber mirror caps are nice and exclusive for this model. So you get carbon fiber mirror caps for the carbon edition, right? Gloss black window moldings are beautiful with the gloss black roof rails the glass roof because it's a panel roof and the gloss black shark fin antenna all goes together very well the wheel arches very aggressive right they look beautiful even the 21 inch gloss black wheels with the monochrome center cap drilled rotors p0 tires for pirellis that's all great but what am i going over obviously is these gold calipers gold calipers with black script exclusive to the carbon edition kind of let me explain because where do we know gold calipers from? You can't option these out on any other Alfa Romeo ever. Well, the anniversario editions or anniversary editions, 100th anniversary editions for the Quadrifolio models, the Stelvio and the Giulia got gold calipers. So if you miss your opportunity to get one of those 100 models globally, well, you can get these cal caliper colors in North America. This is the only way you can get them if you couldn't get the Anniversario editions. So obviously these are super special to get these on the carbon editions because again, they're exclusive to those models and they're exclusive to North America with the carbon editions. Look really good. And obviously it would look good against the Okra GT color. You know, that gold color that we had for Alfa males before, uh, you know, the uh, Hornet took it. Well, yeah, it would look really cool against contrasting with that. But all right, so I wasn't done. An ambulance had to go by. I didn't want it to dis disrupt the video, but hope everyone is okay involved in whatever that was. But this is what I would definitely, definitely make better. I would have done this differently. Carbon fiber for the side skirt here instead of the black plastic. You get the black plastic on the regular Quadrifolio models as well. Do this in carbon to match with the Scudetto up front. That would have been perfect. But, but I do love the mirror caps because that does tie in the side profile as well, but I would have loved to see the side skirt done as well. Now the rear looks pretty wonderful and it's gonna be a lot of what you know for the standard Stelvio Quadrifolio. Um, you know, you have the black badging, which is nice. So the Q4 badge is done in black and red. That is specific to this model, I believe. And then same with the Stelvio badging as well. But new for 2024, we have the clear tail lamps, full LED clear tail lamps for the Quadrifolio models. 
um, or actually all Stelvio models and all Julia models and Alfa Romeo Insignia is right there as well. So the biggest thing you'll notice are the blacked out badges, but you also will see what you guys are used to for the Stelvio quad and that's quad exhaust tips, right? Done in chrome and you have the honeycomb grill, the rear diffuser there and the vertical slats there, or sorry, I don't wanna say vertical slats, but like C-shaped slats there with the grill feed through all functional right there functional in the middle of that rear diffuser there would have loved to see carbon fiber be carried over to the rear diffuser there just to kind of top it off just like the side skirts but i do love this look especially those blacked out badges it really goes a long way the small things really add up so let's talk about your fuel economy because you're looking at 19 17 23 now keep in mind we got that twin turbo v6 so it's gonna suck down a little bit of fuel so 19 city and highway 17 city and 23 for the highway and obviously premium fuel in this beast now you guys know what we're working with in the rear about 55 cubic feet of space and i really want to show this off because we're not used to the rosso seating anymore for the quadrifolio models so to see it on this special model here well that is just the cream of the crop there so we'll get into that in just a moment 40 20 40 split privacy shade plenty of space again about 55 cubic feet of space if i would have pushed those floor mats out of the way I will also be able to lift up this false floor. You guys will see that our spare tire will be back there, battery, everything, all set up there. Now check out the flashers, the full LED headlamps with the switchback turn signals as well, done with bright white and amber. With the black housing, it looks so good against the tri-LEDs here. Check them out up close. They look beautiful. You guys will see maybe a little bit better that clover leaf. Can you guys see it? Probably not, but there's a clover leaf hidden in between there, as I pointed out earlier. But I'll try to get it to show a little bit better. You guys will see the amber reflector illuminated. In the carbon fiber mirror cap, you will also see that with some illumination for the turn signal there. And then in the rear, we have the red reflector illuminated. And also the red LED going across with the red flasher for the turn signal. Guys, check that out. It looks so good in the quad spec. Now, I know you guys are dying to know what's inside of the Carbon Edition, right? Oddly enough, there's only one big major change because the Stelvio quads come with a lot of good flavor that we are seeing here today, standard. So again, if you guys go check out my video on it, you'll notice that the Stelvio Quadrifolio for 2024 comes with the leather wrap steering wheel, flat bottom, the carbon fiber inserts, aluminum on the sides, and the quad badge there. You know it will come with the start-stop button and the Alcantara on the inners with the big paddle shifters. You'll also know that it comes with the extended doors for the leather with the stitching and a 3D carbon fiber trim that is new for all 2024 model Stelvio Quadrifolios, Harman Kardon sound system, and aluminum with the soft touch on the armrest and the stitching as well. You'll know all of that. You'll also know that we have the upper leathers done in stitching as well with the carbon fiber 3D trim all throughout here on the center. And then obviously the dash, or sorry, center cockpit or central tunnel here will also have the carbon fiber and 3D feel as well. What's the big difference then? Well, the big difference is the Rosso seating. Yes, you cannot get red optioned out in a quadrifolio model for the 2024 model year. That means that this you're looking at right here is actually specifically exclusive to this model. The only way you're gonna get red seats in a quadrifolio model with extended dive support there is get a carbon edition. So quadrifolio side sill, aluminum pedals, all that great stuff. We know this comes with this model, but the red seats, you can only get on this 165 carbon edition for the Stelvio. So that's the big thing you guys will note for this model year. We'll turn it on. Here come to life, 8.8 inch touchscreen there. You guys know about that. We have the new digital dash for 2024 with three different layouts. Actually, let me do this the other hand, <laughs> makes more sense. So you guys can see the three different cluster layouts there as well. But then if I were to go into race mode down here, hold that over. Then we got that right there, the big speedo right in the center there. I mean, with the RPMs right there for you so you guys can 
worry about racing and shifting there. Um, this is exclusive to the Quadrifolio, this screen here, and it's only for the 2024 model year, as we know that the digital dash just came out for the 2024 model year models. But again, I want to do something differently here because you guys know all about this. You guys probably just watched that video a couple of days ago on the new Stelvio Quad, but you don't know exactly about the Carbon Edition. And this is really what I want to show you here today is what all of this entails for the 2024 model year. And again, it's these beautiful red, heated leather seats. So let's check out the rear. It's gonna be the same goodness that we know and love up front. Rosso stitching, sport seats, perforated leather, heated seats as well. All throughout, again, it's still really weird seeing red seats now in the quads because they are not in here anymore for our option, but in this they are. So you see the red seat, black backing with the cargo net there. On the door paneling, you will see the uppers done in leather you will see the stitching as well you'll see the 3d carbon and you will see the aluminum trim as well with the speaker down there soft touches on the armrest and the stitching throughout so again same flavor here the turbine vents for your hvac controls here and then usb 2.0 sorry usb 2.0 and heated seats under here as well if you can get my grubby fingers out of the way you guys can see that all right and then storage there as well just for your phone or anything else you would like to put there and then of course we got an armrest with cup holders. And then you look up, a lot of natural light with that panel roof. Looks really good. Again, this is just a cool place to be with this colorway. I love it. I think the black on the red goes very well. So obviously this is gonna be a great place to be when it comes to the back of a 2024 Stelvio Quad Carbon Edition. So this is what you really came to see, the sticker breakdown of the 2024 Stelvio Quadrifolio Carbon Edition. So we start life at $87,370 for the base price, but we're tacking on around $10,000 to come to $97,320, but that's after that $1595 destination fee. So how do we get there? Well, first off, the Volcano Black Metallic Paint is $660, but then the customer preferred package, which is the carbon fiber edition or carbon edition package, will give you for $5,500 gold painted calipers, the red leather sports seats, carbon fiber exterior mirrors, carbon fiber v scudetto grill, and the Madon black badging with the summer tires and 21 inch dark five hole wheels. That is your carbon edition right there. Summed up $5,500, okay? So there you go, you guys see it. Now you know exactly what it entails. Now we do also have Active Assist Plus on here for $700 for our you know, driver assistance. We also have the Advanced Vehicle Anti-Theft System, the dual pane windows, or sorry, dual pane windows, dual pane sunroof at $1,495 as well. Alpha Connected Services, everything like that. But yeah, there's only four options on here the paint, the carbon package, the driver assistance package, and the dual pane sunroof. That's it, and that's how we got to that price. Now we do have a four year, 50,000 mile warranty for your basic and powertrain, and then roadside assistance as well. But everything else you see here, like I said, comes standard on this Quadrifolio model. So I'll make sure you guys see this. All the good stuff that comes on the Stelvio Quad for 2024 is here automatically. You guys don't need to option anything out to get all of this stuff. So then you kind of look at it and, and check it out and see, hey, you know, is it carbon addition for me? Do I love everything that it comes with? Do I want those red leather sports seats? Do I want all the additional carbon and the gold calipers, black badging? You know, you gotta make sure that this is right for you. So make sure you guys pause that, zoom in, screenshot, everything you need to do to know all you need to know about the Quadrifolio Carbon Edition for 2024. So at $97,000, what are you guys feeling about this 165 limited edition carbon edition? Do you love the gold calipers? Do you love the red interior? And do you love the extra carbon fiber that this model entails? Just adding that extra $10,000 of flair onto the regular Stelvio Quadrifolio. Drop those comments down below. Now, if you guys did enjoy the video and want to help further support, check the links in the description, you know, to the website here at this dealership. Give them a call as well. Phone number's there. Check out the Ron's Rise merch. Check out all my socials and everything there. And make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, but click the notification bell so you don't miss one video. And with that said, you guys, we will see you in the next one. Peace.